I, we knew Brescia is a really good team. Um, their record doesn't show it, but overall they lead uh, the nation in scoring at 90, uh, top of the nation in scoring at 90. Uh, this is a team, that's one of the things that we've been focusing on is defense, trying to get our kills, trying to get our stops, and not playing down to the level of our competition because we know we can play up to our level of competition when we play good teams. So Brescia coming indoors, um, just coming off a night going in double overtime, we thought they had a little motivation on uh, knocking down shots in our gym. Um, our guys, our guys really fought together. You know, we always talk about playing for one another, and that's something that we showed today. We were able to get stops. We were able to uh, just change up different variations of, of our defensive pressure and stuff. I mean, we threw things out there in zone that we don't typically do. Uh, we blitz some ball screens. I mean, we did a little bit of everything. We executed so well. So. That's not just on the coaching and how, how much uh, how well we do in our preparation. That's guys playing for each other, and that's what I, I was happy to see today. Well, we knew they had athletes. They, we knew they could get to the hoop. We knew they could score within the paint. Uh, we knew a strength. Uh, it wasn't a strength to shoot from the perimeter. So we wanted to uh, expose that a little bit, and we're fortunate. I think we have a shooter's gym. I tell our guys that all the time, um, and we're hoping that it wasn't a guy who could uh, catch fire for them. So we did a great job of locating their, their best shooter, uh, guarding him. But um, we were happy it wasn't falling through the hoop for him. So we just stayed in it and we kept running. And the hardest thing in zone is to be able to close it out with a rebound. But when you have the best rebounder literally in the nation, uh, you feel a little confident with uh, playing a little bit of zone. Well, you know, uh, Vince has been such a leader. And he's he's been getting on Farmer's butt all the time about getting the boards and stuff. And Farmer plays a lot of minutes for us. So, you know, I, I told him, especially yesterday after he had a double-double, like, hey, you see, this doesn't seem as hard. You know, go box out the rebound, get the boards and stuff. And so I'm so proud of uh, V Farm having another double-double, especially back-to-back -back nights like this. But I don't want to take away from a guy like Vince. Like, this is a guy that has one level of basketball, and that's hard AF. He goes hard every time. Practice games, it doesn't matter what we're doing, uh, shoot around, warm ups, he goes hard. And that energy uh, goes off to everybody else. And you see other guys, and that shows you, Brandon Farmer, he's not a guy who's averaged double doubles. He's not a guy who's had a lot of double doubles. But on the court, now we have guys who are going and crashing those boards because you see guys trying to double team Vincent on the blockouts. I mean, I think I look at our boards, I think we've out rebounded uh, 10 uh, maybe nine, ten different teams or so, and we've played against some teams that are really good rebounding teams and stuff. So that shows that, yes, we do have the best rebounding team in the nation, but he also uh, puts a lot of pressure on a lot of guys around him to help out and stuff. So that makes us the best rebounding team in the nation. Great defensive effort. Um, that was something we've been trying to focus on in a lot of our uh, practices, and leading up to the game was just – defending a good team and they score a lot of points and so we knew that we had to master physicality because they're a bigger team we watched on film they like to feed it inside a lot and we did a great job by matching that their energy right away from the start and that kind of took them out of a lot of what they were running and allowed us to set the tone for the rest of the game like chief talked about earlier on the energy of the whole team and so for the start of the game he's like what play do you want to run so it kind of gives me a little bit of confidence going into it and then I see the advantage and I go and finish the basket, which gives us a lot of energy and allows us to keep get going right away because I'm the energy driver and I got to bring out all this energy, which translates to other players because then when other teams start collapsing, it allows other players to get involved as well. I played a lot of college basketball games. I've been undersized four or five my whole career. So just learning how to play against taller guys throughout my whole career has given me a lot of confidence in how to score. And it's all about setting the tone right away is you got to match your energy and physicality right away or it's going to be a long night. So I knew that going into it, they're a very long physical team. They love uh, being physical, crashing the glass, point, uh, points in the paint and stuff like that. So I knew that with my experience and stuff like that, I knew I had to attack early and get us on the board starting early. Um, something I've done my whole career is just go out there and be the hardest worker.
my uh, parents instilled that in me from a very young age and so just going out every night and pr pretty much putting on my work hat and lunch pail and going to work and as some mentality I take into everything that I do coach chief talked about every little thing I do from shoot around to warm-ups to practices you I go a hard hundred percent because you got to practice the way you play and if you don't practice hard you're not gonna play hard so that's why I practice and do everything very hard um, starts with practice on Monday it, uh, our focus and energy has got to be high. It's New Year's, but we got to focus. We got to stay focused on the task because this is a long, a long conference season. Two months is going to be physical, like Coach Chief talked about. A lot of these teams are ranked or on the verge of being ranked. So we got to come in every single day and just work and grind. And pretty much that's what we got to do every single day is take it day by day and, and work. That's what we got to do starting on Monday. Well, confidence is everything. And I hope that's what we built. Um, when we go into this conference, we're probably, uh, after tomorrow, closing out the year. I think overall our conference has dominated the non-conference schedule. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be down to the last two weeks that there are going to be some head-to-head -head matchups that you got to look to that non-conference to, to see what head-to-head -head matchups that we've had, what same opponents that we've had. You know, it's going to be tough. But it's great that our conference has done a great job in the non-conference. But if we go and do our job within conference, then we're going to hopefully not make that a factor for us. I think we have the ability to win our conference. I truly believe that. That's, the, that's what this team was built for. And I think with our leadership, they'll be able to help prepare us for that.